At first glance, it looks and sounds a lot like an arcade game. But look again and you'll notice the artillery is much more advanced. That's because it's not a game, it's practice. What we're trying to do is give the people in the Citizens Academy a glimpse of some of the training that we do for our officers. Today's lesson, when to shoot. Led by Officer Poxon and Sergeant Dawson, with the aid of the firearms training simulator commonly referred to as FATS. FAT system is a computer-based system that uses lasers to input information into it and to provide us information back. An interactive teaching tool reaching far beyond the textbook to hands-on experience. Put your weapon down. The firearm training simulator features system-operated weapons like this 9mm gun that actually recoil and fire. <laughs> allowing participants a more realistic experience Put your hands up! Keep your hands up! than what they'll get watching TV. Less than half a second. Where they would make a decision whether they're going to shoot or not shoot. Um, the time that officers have to take in that information is very short compared to somebody that's watching TV going, well, I think that this is going to happen. To help make real the daily threats of police work, Poxon exposed participants to a variety of scenarios. Traffic stops, uh, contact with people in domestics, uh, robberies, larcenies. All manipulated by his click of the mouse. If we have good interaction with the, the people and they give good verbal commands, I can make the scenario uh, play that it, the people do what they want them to do. If we don't get so much input from the people, we can make the scenarios go the other way and put more pressure on the participants. Pressure, Poxon says, that if not practiced for, can lead to regretful decisions. Is it always the right decision? You know, we would like to hope so, but it just happens sometimes it's not, but that's just one of those things we have to deal with. In Lansing, Cedra Mayfield, Home TV.